Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at the brand new app from Audio Thing, Dub Filter. Great big frequency knob in the middle there, stepped fixed filter frequencies used by a dub engineers for years and years and years based on a famous piece of hardware. But we're going to take a look at it in the iPad. Right, okay, so dub filter. I have it bypassed at the moment. I also have one on iBassist. So iBassist here and then Reggae Drummer and it's doing this. So no effects at all applied to either of those instruments. Now, in a moment, we'll also take a look at it on a single sine wave, uh, sawtooth wave, sorry from Synthmaster here with some uh, oscillators and stuff so you can see, well, oscilloscopes so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna engage dub filter on the drums. And we'll go in and play around with that. Now you might notice down here you have an envelope control and an LFO. The envelope will react to transients of course, so fast attack, fast release, you'll see this action going on between the filter frequencies. If we have more, and bear in mind that this is a bipolar amount, so in the middle it's nothing. So it'll just stay on 500 and then if we move it'll go base here and then positive and then the attack of course will smooth all this out and the release Switch the envelope off, quickly check out the LFO. I'm gonna just bring the impedance down to nothing. Your impedance is basically your resonance. Uh, I'll show you this on the oscilloscope so you'll you get a better understanding of what it does. Make sure all this is turned down as well for now. Mix is at 50%, so let's go up to 100%. Now the LFO, we can change the wave, let's change it to a sine. So we're getting fairly smooth filter sweep, but don't forget it's set in fixed frequencies. You can also change the phasing like you can with the other audio thing apps and go in and change the shape of the LFO. If we push the impedance up, of course, we're going to get a resonant peak at the point of cutoff. In this case, it's 250. Resonant peak at 500, 1K, 2K. Frequency, frequencies. <laughs> I'll turn the bass down a second. Higher frequencies will hear more of this. So extra high pass. Magnetism. Going to basically disappear. Let's turn the LFO off. But it's seven and a half K. Bring the magnetism down. Put a bit of low pass back in. Character. Dynamics. And we can introduce artifacts and have soft clipping on or off. 
and the mode can be original or measured. See, we're taking out some extra lows there. You can basically dial in any type of dub type filter sound you like. Now, this works particularly well if we use another audio thing app, Outer Space. I've made a few adjustments to these settings, but you'll get the idea. Switch the LFO on. Let's have it set on sign. Switch the LFO if we use the envelope. Make this bit smoother. Okay. Cool. Let's put the bass in. Very cool there on the bass. Bit of LFO. Drag the impedance down. Favor the lower frequencies with the envelope. We go in bipolar negative. Okay. 
Okay. Awesome. Right. Look. Let's stop the playback and I am going to listen to this. And like, first of all, it's a basic square way, a sawtooth way from Synthmaster. Okay, and what we're going to do is, we'll move that out of the way. I'm going to open up the dual filter here. I'm going to put it on. Okay. And we can we can watch, right? So around, let me just open this up so we can see our, see around 500. Now we're on 500. Uh, LFO and envelope is turned off. We don't need it on for this. I just want you to see what effect it's having on the uh, uh, frequencies. So around 500. Now if we push the impedance up, it should get a boost around 500. And if we go up to say 3K, which is around here somewhere. Turn it down. 1K boost. Now, the high frequencies, let's turn the impedance down. And look at, let's listen to what the magnetism does. Let's take it down to, say, 250. Definitely cut some of the lows. That cuts more. Character puts in some lows down here. You can hear it on the higher frequencies. Dynamic. Artifacts, one, two, what happened there? Okay, so, have my voice went funny in my ears then? And if we look at the, the oscilloscope, we can see exactly what this is going to do to the sound. So, deal of difference with that so you can hear it now the thing is you've got to mess around you know cut more lows There's a great deal uh, of sound design you can do by changing the frequencies and then playing with the controls here. Get those out. Those artifacts in.
it's a, it's really good. <laughs> Guys, there you go. There is the new dub filter. Dub filter. From Audio Thing. We also used a bit of the old uh, outer space from Audio Thing as well. You can go in and change your patterns up, of course. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a Patreon, and I will see you guys later. Ta-da!